Welcome back everybody. Today, scooter stuff, picking back up. New wheels and, well here's here's the wheels. Small, small wheels. And then I'm gonna dismantle all the body panels and get ready for painting that thing. Mm. All right, so you can see the big wheels are a little bit bigger. Those, those are 10 inch, those are eight inch. But yeah, all right, we have a couple things to talk about. A lot of updates on this thing. <clears throat> I swapped out the headset for a JDM set. I didn't record any of it because, you know, I had a time crunch and I couldn't really film. I just had to put the headset on and everything. But yeah, so we got that all on. And then we got a wing. It's for a 27V instead of a 2JA, so it kind of sits a little bit differently. But, you know, it still does the job. But yeah, time to put these on and also dismantle the whole thing. Woo! I forgot I had this one which doesn't have a sticker and I don't feel like picking the sticker off that one so we're just gonna use this one. <laughs> people I have the spray paint we're not gonna put the small wheels on because I'll show you in a little there's this much right now from the exhaust to the floor and if I drop it anymore which will be an inch drop that exhaust I won't be able to turn it off so we're just gonna leave it um, I just went to our Home Depot to get some spray paint it's gonna be black and white right now so you can't see what color it is and now you will watch me paint in black and white and then wait until the review <laughs> Welcome back everybody. New day, um, change of plans too. 
we are going to put the small wheels on. I kind of solved the problem. I'm going to custom fab. I'm going to basically cut. I'll put a picture in while I describe this. So the bend that goes down, I'm going to cut that in half so the exhaust will get smaller, but then I'm going to weld on a flat plate. I'm basically going to raise the exhaust by squishing it higher. You'll see it may not work. It may. I don't know, but that's the fun stuff in trying. Um, so yeah, we are going to make the small wheels work. And we go do that now. Here's a visual to explain it better. Where that piece of tape is, I'm going to cut. Hold on, let me get my finger in there. I'm going to cut all right there and then put a flat plate under it, weld it on. So now instead of an inch of space, I will have almost two inches. So when I drop the scooter, the inch, yeah, I will still have room. So as you can see, <clears throat> cut out my little piece of metal that will sit right here and reduces my low point. <laughs> exhaust drying and it's all welded up and fabbed and everything i'm gonna start putting the new wheels on but i'm gonna have to unfortunately have it in black and white because the headset's on it so you're not allowed to see that yet okay <laughs> gonna be good yep that'll reach <clears throat> the height that I've been longing for all right I think it's time for assembly all right everybody it's finally time for the review <laughs>
All right, so let's do a little bit of an overview. So, all together, since last time I recorded, I put the JDM headset on. What you gotta do for that is you gotta get all of the lights, the cowl, the handlebars. You can reuse your throttle and these indicator guys, but you kinda have to trim. See how I trimmed a little bit? And then all of the plugs will swap over. You just have to put whatever color is on the JDM one and the USDM one and match them. When I went to put mine in, mine completely shattered, but all that matters to me is my fuel. And then I put my little my little Humphrey boy in my, in my cluster right there so I can see him every time I ride. And then um, we got the Kuru Kuru light, spinny spinny light. I got that off of one of those JDM websites or whatever, but um, here's the 27V wing. Looks pretty good. You know, it would have been awesome if I could have actually had a 2JA wing, but you know, oh well. Um, here's the exhaust. It's different actually from last video. Um, I just liked the look of this old school one more and it had a bit of more of a, of a, of a bend to it so I could go lower. The other one goes straight and it goes straight into all of that. Um, but then what I figured out was this was a crappily homemade one. So there are some leaks or whatever. But so I cut the bottom of it. I basically cut the diameter of the exhaust in half. And now I can actually drive it-ish. But yeah, I also put the 8-inch wheels on. Got a little bit of overspray on that wheel right there, but oh well. Um, but yeah, 8-inch wheels look way better. And it actually sits me way lower. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. This is no clear. It was just straight Rust-Oleum paint. Not a lot of prep. I think I just scuffed it up with 400. It did the job. But yeah, maybe I can get some riding clips to finish off the video, but I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one.